Sitting in her father's former study, Daffila Scott sketches the individual faces of the wild Buick swans, 50 years to the day since his first drawings. No two are the same. You want to see both sides and the front really, really well. When Sir Peter Scott first lured the birds to this pool at the wetland centre on the banks of the River Severn, he embarked upon what's become one of the world's longest-running animal research projects. So we're going all the way back to 1964. Some of these done by your father and perhaps some done by you? Some done by me a little later, but these first ones all done by my father. And so that very first year there were 24. And the next autumn he was delighted to see that they came back again. The same individuals came back. The first wild one came in and this mm -hmm. was Maud. And then the very next day she brought some different ones and he noticed that they were completely different. And you can see that this one's got yellow on the top and it's what we call a yellow nerve. Well, what about mottle? That's a good name, because it is rather mottled on the top there. I think it's excellent. This footage shows Daffala as a young girl with her family recording each swan's markings and idiosyncrasies as they return here to Slimbridge year after year. The method remains unchanged from when the Scots created the original Facebook. So Lefty has a pattern with the dark coming down to the left-hand right. side. So with her must go Mr. Wright. Of course. And uh, then unfortunately she lost Mr. Wright. Sometimes they lose their mates. And so subsequently she brought with her another bird. Later and on. He became known as Mr. Ron. The daily feeding thrills visitors and birds alike. Now this one that is a, a bill pattern type that would refer to as a penny face, so it has a dark bill, but it has uh, this yellow marking on top of the beak. But so far this winter, the number of migratory Buicks is down. Now the bad weather that we're having at the moment has caused the lowest number of Buick Swan visitors here to Slimbridge since 1965. How do we know that? Well, not through scientific research born from radio transmitters or global positioning satellites. No, it's the facial recognition of the swans, technology that dates back half a century. During that time, the technology, or art, has helped to inform our understanding of the species. We've really got to know about individuals, so sort of the life histories. It throws up you know, some obvious facts, like how long they live. Uh, you know, the record breaker is uh, 29 years, for example, the, the oldest known Buick Swan. We've got one here at the moment that's been coming for 22 years. They will pair up uh, for life. And uh, in one example, that was 21 years. They came back here for 21 years together. With 9,000 mug shots to date, it's an impressive family album. And for these international travellers, it's unrivaled around the world. Now I spotted two magnificent beasts on this page. Here they are, Bill and Susanna. Beautiful couple of birds. John Maguire, BBC News. Gloucestershire.